Hello. Welcome to this first episode of Film Companions Television Show. I'm Rick Coates, and to my left here is my longtime associate and friend, film aficionado, Dave Preston. Hello. We're going to be your hosts here. Many of you watching probably already know me, but for those of you who don't, I'm adjunct professor of cinematic studies here at Richmond Community College in Culver City, where I've been teaching film history on and off for nearly eight years now. So being able to host this show is a great honor for me, and I look forward to sharing my love of this wonderful art form with you. And Dave Preston here, well, I'll let you speak for yourself. Well, thanks. Uh, hi, my name is uh, Dave Preston, and I'm a, currently a freelance writer for several industry publications, including Weekly Review, Starlog Quarterly, and uh, Studio Magazine, just to name a few. I attended NYU back in the day and moved out here and worked in the industry for several years. I worked for Mally Finn Casting and uh, did a little commercial acting. Uh, did a short stint back in New York. Mm -hmm. Doing some grip work on some Spike Lee projects. Right, right. You know, a lot of production was put on hold back in 9-11. And uh, <clears throat> it was at that time that I began uh, whoring out my physical person for money. Um, basically, I, I was just uh, humiliated and fed up. And so I moved back here and uh, been here ever since. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, like Rick, uh, I, I can't begin to tell you how excited I am to be hosting the show and sharing all of our experiences here together. Mm -hmm. you know, we've been talking about how to get this off the ground for years, and it seems like it's finally happening, so we're just really very excited about it. Yeah, it's finally here, and I couldn't be happier myself. You know, the purpose of this show is very simple. We wanted to profile only what we believe to be the greatest achievements in cinematic history, right. the new as well as the old, and to learn more about those responsible for bringing these gems to the silver screen. Mm -hmm. Now, I've always thought that the power of film comes from the fact that it is something that ultimately transcends the medium in which it's being told. It is something we experience together as a culture, as it has the power to inform and change the cultural myths and perceptions. It can prompt intelligent discussion of the issues shaping our lives. And at its best, it has the ability to actually think for us. Mm -hmm which is especially important in an era when most of us have rendered ourselves completely impotent of being able to possess any semblance of authentic exp expression whatsoever. Yeah, you know, I, I couldn't agree with you more there, Rick. You know, I always tell people that you could ascertain a far greater understanding of something, say like uh, JFK assassination, mm. from watching an Oliver Stone movie about it rather than reading in-depth articles or wasting your time trying to gather real facts. No, oh, I, I completely agree. And that's why we're opening it up so that the views expressed here on Film Companions will not be limited to our own. We intend on featuring guests in our program each week, everyone from discriminating critics like Peter Travers to master auteurs like M. Night Shyamalan to titans of the screen on the level of Ashton Kutcher and Jeremy Piven. Wow. Mm-hmm, indeed. We also intend on showcasing the talents of everyone involved in the filmmaking process. Even the behind the scenes stuff that normally goes mm -hmm. unnoticed, but yet which makes these films so exciting and worthwhile to watch. Yeah, I mean, this is really gonna be some deep, exciting cinematic immersion here. We're yeah. setting our sights high. Sky's the limit, isn't that right, Sloan? Sky's the limit, guys. Now, over there is Sloan. It's the show's producer. Uh, say hi, Sloan. Hi. Now, Sloan, I'll have you all know, is a connoisseur of high art. Mm -hmm. Now he's really steeped himself into everything from Van Gogh to Picasso, and this highly refined aesthetic acumen crosses over into the area of cinema as well. So hopefully we'll be able to get him out here uh, and at some point be able to get his opinion on some things. No, I'm looking forward to it, uh, but we're gonna need to break for this reel here just for a mm. second. So. Okay. Already? Yeah, we're gonna have to do these things about every five minutes. Like, you know, like I was saying. Uh, every five minutes? Well, that's some <laughs> bullshit, don't you think? We gotta do it, Rick. It's part of the deal here. Yeah, Rick, you remember all this stuff. All right, all right. I, I guess we have to run this short sponsor reel, and after that, we'll be right back. <laughs> 